Hey guys, out here changing the skis on the uh, Expedition LE. And uh, so I change, I'll bring that other ski up here. <laughs> I change from the uh, DS2 pilot ski to the Polaris. This is the Pro Polaris Pro Float. So the only thing I don't like is there is no ski skin. So you're actually wearing on your ski instead of just a skin. But anyway, it's a much better ski. And I'm gonna show you the difference why and it's really obvious right here. You see this keel? This is the DS2. You see how tall that keel is? Well, that catches edges on overflow and certain crests of snow. And if you're not holding on, it'll take that the handlebars right out of your hand and it'll turn 90 degrees on you and dump you on your head. Where this ski does not do that. And in certain conditions like just powder and stuff like that, you never really notice it. But when you get into that crust or overflow like I ride all the time, then it's a pretty big deal. So um, I do that on, on all mine and, and really enjoy it. So I put the uh, the DS2 pilots with the uh, ski skins back on my Scandic. But anyway, this is a brand new set of uh, pro floats and these are going on the, on the Scandic. So, but, so I didn't go out this weekend. I'm gonna head back out tomorrow on the line. And, so building some coyote snares and but and then on these uh expeditions you can widen out the uh the skis if you want it wider a little more stable by just push putting this to the inside but i th it was really stable just the way it was only thing i have to do is tighten up my suspension on it um it was a little bit bottomed out a few more times than I like with my girlfriend on the back and uh, and my box of junk on it too so I'll stiffen the stiffen the suspension up a little bit but so all right well that's what I'm doing so if you guys ride Scandics and Tundras with a DS2 pilot ski on it and, and expeditions and you ever get thrown off it and can't figure out why well now you know it's that ski it's that keel so but all right, we'll check in later.